trajectory. Imminent impact. Imminent impact. Alright, here we are in Planet Crafter. Uh, 1.0 is welcome to your assigned planet. Your mission is to advance the terraformation process of this will need to generate O2 heat and pressure. First to first reach 175 TI and create blue atmosphere. Alright, so first things first, what you want to do when you start off is you want to go out and get yourself two uh, iron and come straight back. I mean, if you want, you can get iron. Uh, let's see, two iron, so three iron, two cobalt, and make there's iron. Two cobalt, our iron, our iron, iron, and we need a magnesium, which is what I like to call the peace symbol. <laughs> uh, it just looks like a peace symbol. Uh, keep an eye on your air. Okay, first things first. Build those two things. I want to make sure and equip them as well. Okay, now you got a little bit more backpack space. Uh, you want to find a couple each of the silicone and magnesium. So you want to find see, quite a bit of both of those. That's be the next thing that you should really hit for. Those two, three, four, four silicone and five magnesium, I believe it is. You can get other things along the way. But those are what you need to focus on. And it is dark, uh, as you can see, but you don't have a flashlight until you get these particular materials that I'm talking about right now. I think that's four silicone. Now we can focus on magnesium. Okay, we're getting close to half point on oxygen. I'm gonna head back. I need to dip in for a second. All right, we'll come back out here. Magnesium. Three more, it looks like. All right, let's head back and make the chips. Okay, make the construction one. That completes one of your first step quests there up in the left hand. And you're going to go ahead and equip that. And you make the microchip for the destruction chip or whatever you want to call it. That's so you can break stuff down. But you don't need to put that in there just yet. I'm going to go ahead and make the headlight one. Put that one in there so you can see when it gets dark and all of that fun stuff. Okay, now the first thing you want to do here is you want to start stockpiling silicone, uh, iron, and uh, titanium because you want to be able to build your uh, base. Uh, you want to have it with you ready to go when you get up there. So you're going to need three iron, two titanium, and one silicone. Okay, I think we got all we need and more. Come in here. In this box, they give you a little starter stuff. Nothing too fancy, just some food. Oxygen. We take one of those oxygen and one of those food. We're going to go out and grab a couple of ice. We can make some water. We'll do that right here by like this. If you hold down control, you can cook this multiple times to make as many you have inventory. Alright, two, we'll drink one now, and off we go. We are aiming for the top of that ridge right there, because, uh, if you know this game already, you know that this turns into a lake. If you don't, well, spoiler alert, this turns into a lake, yeah. Uh, and the lake ends right up at the top of this hill. So, I am going to take advantage of my pre-knowledge, and I would like to build a base that I've seen somebody else build. I don't remember, uh, it was in a video I watched, uh, can't remember who. But they built off into the water, and, uh, I don't know if they did that before, they built, uh, you know, before they built, uh, the water got up there, or after the water got up here. Uh, it's my experience that, uh, the water comes up right along this edge. Uh, yeah, we're gonna stop gib gabbing and get this built here. So I'm gonna build it right here in the hopes that it's, uh, about sea level. Well, and we're gonna build out that way because gravity doesn't matter. So, there we go. And it's Q to build and tab to get into your inventory. So you get, I get those mixed up a lot. Because they are right next to each other. But it does make sense after a while for why they did it that way. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to start building off this direction. That way when the water comes up, we should be right on it. At least that's what I'm going to uh, I don't, I don't know exactly what stops. So, but that is the idea. Alright, so we're going to get some more of this stuff going. Get uh, more iron. Titanium. All right, now we got a little bit of space to work with here. Start rolling up the other stuff we need to do. We need to make the power is more important. Uh, so all that takes is iron. It's one iron for every power station. They usually build three power stations right away. I tend not to build too many of the first ones right away because uh, if you do things right, you can upgrade to the next power level unit uh, rather quickly. So. 
All right, there you go. We got three power units now. Uh, the next thing we want to build is a couple of these drills, heaters, and veggie tubes. Alright, another thing we want to build is one of these crafters up here because this will allow you to build exoskeleton backpack so you can carry more uh, of these chips and stuff. Uh, but yeah, we also want to build uh, some boxes up in and stuff like that. But we'll get to that in a minute. We'll get the essential stuff up here quickly. I, just, I got one of the veggie tubes up and I just wanted to show a little trick that I do to speed things along a little bit. Uh, once you get to know the map, you know that there are certain places that have boxes. And in some of those golden boxes, there are plants that have 600% growing power or whatever. So yeah, we're going to go to one of those boxes here just a second. Got to get some oxygen so we can make it back. And there's the oxygen tank at level 2. We'll be sure to upgrade to that as well. Alright, we upgraded that. Now we have more oxygen per tank. Alright, now that we've done that, let's go ahead to the box so we can get that special flower. And it's right on the edge of where you see these weird looking rocks right here. This kind of bridge of rocks right here, right underneath here is where the box is. And you get two important, well, a lot of important, the two very important things are this iridium and this golden seed. Um, you can leave this here if you want, or you can break it down, but I, oh wait, yeah, I didn't do that, okay. Go ahead and do that. And that gives you aluminum and super alloy as well. But yeah, the uh, plant and the uh, red rock is what the real goal is because that will progress you to the next stages of the game. Quicker anyway. Alright, first thing you want to do is put this golden seed here inside the veggie tube. Now you can see you're kicking out 600%, so add that up. And uh, you can get the screen out. That is cobalt and silicone. Alright, goes on the wall, you can put it wherever you want. I generally put it in the front rooms just because it's quick clean to see how you're doing. Right now, doing just fine. Gonna start making some heat though, that's where this rock comes in handy. We're gonna need iron and silicone. Alright, we can build a tier 2 backpack. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put this heater down. We're gonna put the heater down right here for now. Oh, and we ran out of power, so I mean, we gotta build another power station right here. Alright, now, that should read out, that should heat up, alright. We're making heat, pressure, and oxygen, just like we were instructed to do. Then the next screen we have to build would be the blueprint screen and the energy levels screen, which is our power. So we know when we're gonna run out of power instead of just suddenly running out of power. Uh, but we need magnesium and uh, uh, silicone for that. Oh, and we can make a window wall. <coughs> also, you should build a box. Uh, yeah, sometimes it gets a little thick. All right, what are we doing now? Oh yeah, building the screen. Da, 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 da. Okay, we got the magnesium, we believe. The silicone, we just need the iron. That away, put that on. Flashlight. Alright, and there are those screens right there. They'll be moved eventually, but for right now, we're just gonna stuff them right there. So, we are now on to the bigger and better things. We've done most of the ones up in the far left corner that we can do right now, because progress one comes a little bit later, and uh, obviously the uh, Reach Blue Sky comes uh, quite a bit later. So, uh, right now we need to focus on getting our food and water secured, which means we need to produce lots of oxygen so we can move ahead in food production, but we have to do some exploring for that. Uh, so, this is where you should get to in the first half hour, 45 minutes of playing. If you can get to this, then you're doing good. Um, you want to kind of keep a fast pace on things. It is kind of a grindy game at first. But yeah, I think that's where I'm going to leave this one here. And uh, hope you see you in the next one.